What's up guys? It's a beautiful sunny evening in Texas. Um, it's a little chilly out, but you know, we good. I'm a soldier. I know how to make do with that. I want to thank you. Welcome you to checking me out on my channel. Today we're going to make a little trip. It's a road that I've been talking about in a few of my videos. We're going to go check it out today. It's called 455. It's in North Dallas. North DFW to be exact. I'm um, just off of 75. The road runs between 75 and 35. It's supposed to be a pretty good driving road. We're going to check that out for a little bit. Um, I don't really have a, a sports car yet. Actually, I don't have a sports car yet. I have a 2009 ES350 we're gonna be checking it out on. It's one of those things, race with your brung. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go race it, but I'm gonna go drive it. So uh, I want you guys to check me out on that journey. What's up, people? We back at it. Again, like I said before, we're gonna check out this road called 455. Um, it's one of North DFW's best kept secrets. Pretty cool. So hopefully you guys um, hope you guys like it as we uh check this out man. Should be fun. Excuse me if I don't talk too much. Just trying to uh, focus, but ain't really much to focus on yet. Well, actually, you know what? I can't talk. I want to talk to you guys about not only about this road, but you know, about some new news that's happening. That new news. This uh, Ford, the new Ford Shelby 500. GT 500, it's a monster. Over 700 and plus horsepower. They haven't really gave the horsepower numbers yet, but uh, quarter mile and under 11 seconds, or around 11 seconds. And then um, zero to 60, less than, uh, less than four seconds. So, I was watching a video of one of the YouTube guys that I follow, TFL Car, you can check them out. Um, they were, you know, just making a little thing, you know. Is it too little too late? Or are they just late to the party? And I'll honestly, probably so. I mean... As good as the GT500 looks, and it's a beautiful looking car, it kind of looks a little bit dated. It could be because of the headlights, or I don't know. It's like when they, they designed it pretty much on the last generation Ford Mustang. And not the new generation Ford Mustang. Which would have been great if it would have been out last generation, but it didn't. So, but it didn't. It came out, you know, it's the generation behind. So, but it's still, you know, a great, great looking car. It's a track car, not um, quarter mile focused like the Demon. So, it should be a fun car to drive, especially on a road like this. Not pushing too hard. Like I said, this isn't a sports car or a sports sedan. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, of course, you know, they're going to sell like hotcakes because GT500 is a monster. It's a gorgeous strike car. So, 
We'll see. We'll have to really see. Um, next on the menu is the Supra. Oh, actually, they couldn't even up right here. That's pretty cool. It's the Toyota Supra. A lot of people are disappointed in the Supra. I don't know. It looks good. It has a lot of fake um, aerodynamics on it, which sucks. Um, hopefully, they come out with a TRD version that will take advantage of a lot of those aerodynamics that they put in the vehicle, that they put on there, that they just need to open up, make vents for, and not just let the vents go anywhere, make the vents functional. People are disappointed that it's not, you know, a true Toyota because it was developed in um, conjunction with BMW. I, don't know. I guess people don't understand that developing a vehicle is it's costly. So if you can share that development cost, why not? No, it's still an inline six. It's a turbo inline six. Uh, but you know, we'll see what Toyota do with it and what kind of sales they're gonna be doing. It's meant to handle well. So wow, this is a great little roller. I've been back here this far. I mean, I've been on this road before, but not this far back. It's pretty fun. Short shift there. kept secret. I guess at some point I'm going to turn around. I've never been all the way through. These guys got to know that people are always driving through this road. It's a nice little putter road. It's some little country town right here. That I need to turn around and get out of really. This is a great, great little fun road. Uh, what other cars did it give you? I'm trying to remember. Um, let's see, if we got the Supra. Got the Ford GT 500. Um, oh, I just read the other day that um, in Canada, Infinity released an I line of the uh, Q50 uh, and Q60 Red Sport, which is some pretty good looking cars if you uh, get a chance to check them out actually it should be here so there's some pretty good looking cars they show them with the red on black the contrast with that of course because that red and black contrast is gorgeous um, most companies use the white and black contrast, but I guess because it's a red sport, they decided to contrast to be red. I can deal with that. Um, trying to think. I'm just, I mean, the, the specs are still the same. All they did was, all they did really was just contrast it with the black, black grill, black wheels, um, carbon fiber, a little wing. Just got to get out of my way here. Um, 
trying to think what else they debuted. The Ford, Fol the Ford Explorer ST. That debuted. 400 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque. Should be a fun SUV to drive. But again, they didn't lower it. I don't know why Ford is making these SUVs and not lowering them. Make them lower, make them sit lower. Can't have a performance vehicle and they not sit lower. That's ridiculous. And I can't take advantage of this road because I got Miss Daisy in front of me. So the first chance we get, we zooming around them. First safe chance we get. I don't know, there's been a lot of nice, you know, nice vehicles at the Detroit Auto Show. Are you getting on them? What are you doing? Wow, they actually went into the other lane to make a left-hand turn. That is crazy, people. That's the mess that we got to deal with here in Texas. I'm trying to think what other vehicles come out. I don't know. I mean, I'm waiting on the, the Corvette. Everybody's talking about the Corvette Zora or the Corvette C8. I'm iffy about the looks. I mean, I've seen a bunch of iterations on it. Um, some iterations, they look really, really good. And some of them, it looks just all right. Um, but I'm really iffy about the looks and how the vehicle's going to look. It just doesn't look to me like it should. Like it's going to... For some um, iterations, it looks like it's going to look as good as it could look. And some of it looks um, just freaking immaculate. So... No, we'll see. It's one of those vehicles where you gotta wait, wait and see. Like we did with the Toyota Supra. Everybody was wondering what it was gonna look like. Does it look like the FT1 concept? Hell no. Should it have made it look like the, T the FT1 concept? Yes. I don't care if it was BMW underneath. It should have looked like the damn concept. The engineers should have fought harder to make it look like the concept. Instead of letting the bean counters get involved. No, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened. When the car goes from concept to market, bean counters always get their hand in the pot and fuck up a car. Oh, excuse my language. Screw up a car. I guess that's the nature of the business. It's a great looking road. I can't take advantage of it. I got Miss Daisy in front of me. Again. It's an ES350. You still have a little bit of fun in it. I mean, it's not a sports car. It's horse sedan, but... Still got a zero to 60 in about six seconds, so you can have a little bit of fun. But anyway, guys, this is this roll 455. I didn't take you all the way through it. I just took you to the uh, first little town. Um, it's supposedly longer. It runs all the way to uh, um, 35. So if you uh, Followed on the map, you actually see how long the road is. But I didn't take it that far. I don't really feel the need to take it that far. I mean, but this one is DFW's little hidden hidden treasures. You know, we don't have a lot of nice roads here in, in uh, Dallas, so we got to take what we can get. So if you got a sports car, a bike whatever a truck run what you're wrong you know what i'm saying it's that simple so have fun with
what you get, what you got, should be cool.